and we're rolling. Hi there, Steve Klimek with Simple Flying, and I'm here with Susan Kidwell, who's head of global e-commerce strategy for Amadeus. And Susan, I was wondering to get your, hoping to get your in inputs on what kind of technology trends are going to be impacting the customer experience in the airline industry in the, the next few years. Okay, so as head of global e-commerce, we're very focused on the customer experience, and I think that is what's going to help each one of the airlines to differentiate themselves a lot. Um, and so we just left a session on technology where Denis talked about the massive computation platform. And again, I come from an agency where I've worked with a lot of people on their customer experience, but you have to have the technology to enable that. And I love the statement where he said, so what are you going to do with it? So we've got this great technology, but really the customer ex experience is how you include the technology in the customer life cycle. We like to talk about, you know, inspire, shop, book, pre-travel, travel, and post-travel. So Affinity Shopper, as an example, is a great technology but I think we've got to incorporate it in, in the customer's experience and expectation. So you can't just show them flight results. You need content that talks about the destination and social media that's got reviews and insights on the destination because it's an inspiration tool to help them plan. So I think one of the things that we've talked a lot about with our vision is taking all these great technologies but starting to integrate them better, right? So Affinity Shopper is a massive computation platform, but you need to integrate social, you need to integrate mobile and planning and input and that type of thing. Um, and I think that is what will improve the experience through the whole life cycle over time. So what kind of research process goes into really understanding what the customers want? Obviously, as Amadeus, your ultimate customer is, you're actually collecting your paycheck from the airlines. It's not the actual individual traveler, but obviously you have to keep them in mind as well because that's who the airline's customer is. How does that dynamic work between yourselves and the airlines as far as understanding the customer desires? Well, one of the things we've done here at the conference is show a lot of recent research that we actually did on what are the customers looking for and asking from search to shopping, you know, they're asking for bundling and unbundling. Um, and, and a lot of that, I believe, strongly depends on the individual airline and their brand and their marketing strategy. So it's important for our technology to enable that and to strategize with them how to reach out to their customer. Because if we can make the airline successful with that, then we're all, we're all happy in that relationship. Um, but, you, but you'll have smaller airlines that are going to be dependent on other channels and partners a little bit, like uh, Andrew Miller from CAPA talked right. about the different channels, right? But clearly the large airlines are very focused on the direct channel and, and controlling that relationship and marketing and servicing them more effectively. And so our tools need to help them to do that. And again, I think a lot of it comes back to the customer experience and how that dynamic can really change over time. Uh, but each airline wants to be different, so we need to be different and targeted based on their relationship with their clients. And have the any specific business goals of the airlines evolved over time with, with all the new technology that exists? And if so, what, what kind of things is Amadeus doing to push them help, to help airlines solve those business challenges? So I'm glad we had this interview when we did, because one of the, the sessions we just came out of was the data insights and analytics where Blaze Fiedler talked about working with our clients on their KPIs because they have changed, I think. You know, we're getting smarter about uh, what are the customer visits, where are they coming from, how we're helping clients to target their marketing dollars, what content is on the website to help you improve your ranking and your visibility. So you might go into a new market, but there needs to be a whole website strategy around moving into that market. And then really how to, to look at it daily. They have this, this executive dashboard daily, but how to monitor it and react, right? You know, things happen. The ash cloud happens. You need to react to that and communicate to it. And, you know, we saw some airlines that did a great job with that and reaching out to their customers and giving them other alternatives and some not so good. That sounds good. I'm, we're really looking forward to all the interesting things that are that are going to be on the horizon. So yeah. thank you for your time, Thank Susan. you. Thank you very and much. Excited for a good 2011. Sounds good.